Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. The prince and princess are currently preparing to head to Balmoral for an especially poignant reunion this month. The annual trip, which the couple will take with their three children, will mark the first time that King Charles will host summer at the Scotland-based royal estate. The visit, which typically lasts until September, will also run over the first anniversary of the late Queen Elizabeth II's death. As well as the trip being the first summer since the late Queen's death, Balmoral also holds a myriad of feelings for Prince William. Balmoral was where William and Prince Harry found out about the tragic death of their late mother, Princess Diana, in 1997. Royal expert Jenny Bond told OK that although it will be especially poignant for the couple, it will also be important for the family to be together ahead of the sad anniversary. Speaking of William's own personal memories of Balmoral, royal expert Robert Jobson said, William has happy and sad moments related to Balmoral, but that's about his life's experience, not the place. The place has always been special to him. Even in his darkest moments, such as when he learned of his mother's death, Balmoral afforded him an opportunity to grieve privately, to go off on walks with his grandfather to try and come to terms with what had happened. Although not confirmed, it is speculated that the family of five will stay at Tam Nakar, a home left for William by the late Queen Mother. Speaking of William and Kate, who used the home for private getaways during their university studies, Mr. Jobson said, Balmoral has always been a sanctuary for them. During the early stages of their relationship, they could escape there and be at one with nature away from prying eyes. He said that Balmoral matters to Kate and William, allowing them to have time to truly relax. As for George, Charlotte, and Louis, Mr. Jobson said, This is a place where youngsters can play outside so freely. That matters to William and Kate because they know their children can be free away from the media. Noting that this will be the first visit since the late Queen passed away, Mr. Jobson said that the royals will be thinking of her and the good times they all shared as they commemorate her life. He added that Charles and Camilla will want to make it as much fun for the young royals, adding that compared to other years it will likely be more relaxed and informal. So what do you think about this news guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.